Hello everyone, it's me Archid again. This is my second Dark Guy video. Hope you're enjoying this just as much as I am. Alright, uh, last time I checked my video and while well, I was editing it and I checked, I noticed that Hilda was being a complete asshole, friend zoned the fuck out of me, so I'm gonna go steal something from her, do some mischief. The lots that have already been drawn. Ah, this acorn here has a pattern. Damn, that bitch be stupid. I'm gonna go get some. Maybe I should tell the guy. To Fred Helm. Play another yes. song so she stops ignoring me. Play another song, mate. Play another song. You can song. play something else now if you want to. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I just thought maybe something happy and cheerful would be nice for a change. A drinking song, maybe. Well, all right then. But at some point I'll be done with your requests. Um, okay. Maybe. All right, let's go gamble oh, a bit. Oh, dear mum, what a wonder. Why don't you play the flute anymore? I'd let you practice in front of my window every... Oh, please, no. I'd rather cut off both my ears than listen to that whining. Hmm, I'll think about it. Hmm, well if you'd rather do that, let me do I it. I want to have another go. If you're gonna do I'm it anyway. I'm sure I'll be lucky this time. No, you're only wasting your money. And you could let the others have their turn too. There are no others around at the moment, what so please take the Kreutzer. Alright, if that's what you want. Exactly. Now for a quick exchange with the winning lot. There! I won! Bah! Witchcraft! Congratulations, Geron. What prize do you want? Oh, you silly witchcraft, you say. No such thing. I'm just Give a me the plum spirit. Rogue. Here you go. If you'd rather have something else, you can come and exchange it later. Sure. Alright. I'm done with this friend zoning fag girl. Go make up with the val valuing guy. With the fiddler guy, actually, not valuing. Alright. Uh, what am I doing here? Wait, wait, no, go. No. You again. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hear my riddle again. I've got What's it. What's the. F the sows at the north gate are peculiar beat. I'll be back. Right, that doesn't help me at all. I don't get what he's trying to say. Let's go and pray a bit, maybe. Old Cephal's plums. Nah. Definitely not in mood for play praying. I probably need to go and check my first room. I didn't stay even one second in it. That could have been the items that I've missed. Uh, there's something I missed. Not really. All right, go up. What? Wait. What's this? What's this? Oh, cane. I'll borrow your walk. He doesn't seem to mind. Let's just. Walk away like gentlemen. Good sir, good sir. Hmm, what are those swine doing? Let's go and check those guys out. They've piss been off. standing there for quite a while. You piss off, you fag. Go drink some. I'd something. rather give it to. Alcoholic. When swine are drunk, they get very. Just the opposite of Ulf. When swine Let's are drunk, they get very peaceful. Just the opposite of Ulfried. Let's give it to the swine then. When I made the pigs go drink. So. Look what's at the, the bird catcher. Oh. Poor boy doesn't get enough food. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. But here's the oak leaf. Oh. A nifty motherfucker, aren't I? Uh, 
Alright, uh, let's go that way. I haven't gone that way, I think. Oh, it just leads here, I see. This is silly. What? Both ways do? Oh, that's cheap. That's just cheap. Both ways go in the same place. That's just cheap. After many, many years of wandering around this village, Archit finally found where I'll to go. go. For a now I have to. You silly Archit. Uh, all right, let's go spy on those guys. I like this game. You gotta explore everything to actually get what the game is about and what to well, do. Well, but the guard says he doesn't have it. What was the text of the riddle again, Ogird? Damn! Can't you remember anything? In front of the castle stands a guard with his trousers and shirt, and in one of those two there's a leaf. I give you my word. There's a leaf? Yes. But he swore by Prios that he doesn't have it. Let me think. Now that's gonna take a while. Oh, well, we're obviously not going to wait here and listen to these idiots. I'm waiting for these idiots to think what they should do. Let's go serve that mystery by ourselves. We already heard the riddle, and the reason they didn't want us to hear it would be probably because they didn't want us to ransom them. They probably have something of ours as well. Now that I think about it, those barrels aren't the only thing out of my reach. Let's try and get those. That's one of the town bailiff's shirts. From the hangers. I'm definitely winning today. The beautiful decoration. I'm authorized to do that. No, not really. But when people around you are, are as dumb as rocks, you are you're authorized to do anything, to hey, be honest. There is indeed one of Olgird's brass oak leaves. Let's see what the windbag has to say about that. Alright, let's see what we can get out of those guys, Mafia style. Look, Algird, an oak leaf of pure brass. It just fell in front of my feet. That must be the one from the castle guard. Where did you... <laughs> Why don't we just swap? Oak leaf for oak leaf. So that you can win? No way. If we don't, neither of us will win. There are other participants in the challenge, as you know. All right, then. How many oak leaves do you have already? As many as you have. Hmm. I see. All right, birdcatcher. This is your lucky day. We'll swap, but be warned, Geron. If you win the challenge, Ulfried will beat you to a pulp. Well, he better get some rest then. Wait, doesn't this mean I have all four? Did I just manage to mafia myself into the win? I've got Winning! all four. I should hurry to the chamber. All right, let's go to the old geezer. Now, if he says that some guys managed to do this challenge faster than me, I'll be seriously pissed off and feel ripped off as hell. You again? Yes, me again. And now I have a surprise for you. I've got all four oak leaves. What? You? Show them to me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Indeed. Now the dire bunch can see who were the fools all along. Not so fast. There's one more task ahead of you. But I've collected all four leaves. Take this town pennant here and hoist it in front of the castle walls. Oh my. Now that reeks of harassment. It's meant to be a tribute to the town and your king. You are supposed to show your pride in being a subject of the king of Andergast. Piece of cake. Up goes the jolly flag. The birdcatcher has succeeded. That's not a good omen. You have achieved victory in the oak leaf challenge. Who would have thought? In order to receive your honors, you will be allowed to appear before your king today. But someone of your ilk will not be admitted into the presence of the king just like that. So listen to me carefully. Whatever you say, Master Chamberlain. Royal Chamberlain. My apologies. First rule. 
You're only to talk if you are spoken to first. Do not ever interrupt the king, or me for that matter, and don't approach the throne closer than seven paces. Yes, sir. You can count to seven, right? Seven is the number that comes after six. You will address the king as your royal highness or your majesty. Your royal highness. Got it? Don't cause me any embarrassment. One slip and you'll have spent your final day in Andergast. All right. Let's get this thing over with. Medieval times seem like too much of a hassle to live in. Newcastle? Report. The young queen of Nostria will spend some memorable days here in Andergast, your majesty. Have the guards been clothed properly from the armory? And has the messenger with a welcome note finally been sent? Not only that, my liege. The finest pastries have arrived from Albernian shores. They taste... delicious. And we finally managed to cast the role of the rogue Morgul for the soiree. Old Buckledorn will play the part. An interesting choice. He shall not frighten the Queen too much, though. As you wish, my liege. Who is that young lad over there? Is he a carny, too? Your Majesty, a victor has been named in the minor challenge of the oak leaf for the common folk. It is young Garon from the Tannerhood. My liege. <coughs> Don't bother Newcastle. The youngster is the stepchild of Ranger Gwynling. Is that so? It's true, Your Majesty. Old Gwynling. Without him, we'd probably still be fearing the seer to this day. Your Majesty, don't forget that... He paid his dues. Be that as it may. I hereby proclaim you winner of the Oak Leaf Challenge, Garon. Thus spoken and sealed in the 1,889th year of independence. May you make Andergast proud, my boy. You may thank the king and rise now. I thank you for this honor, your majesty. Your audience is over now. Wait. So, didn't you learn the trade of the hunt from Gwyndling, Geron? Of course. I put the fear of the gods in wolves and bears. Well, we don't have too much of a problem with those in this castle. Say, Sir Newcastle, have the attempts to rid the royal guest chambers of those nasty crows been successful yet? Your Majesty, we're doing all we can. But? They're proving themselves quite obstinate, my liege. Nasty little buggers indeed, those crows. I've been hearing that for days now. The servants are doing the best they can. Not good enough, it seems. It would constitute an insult to the Queen of Nostria. Geron, do you think you can deal with crows? They're just birds like every other kind. You bait them, scoop them, grab hold of them. Well, that's good news. I hereby charge you with a mission of ridding the royal guest chamber of all crows. But your majesty... The whole court is terribly busy, Newcastle. I'm sure you can use a helping hand. Of course, my liege. I'm just saying... Well, you know what people say about him. I'm not inclined to bother with the superstitions of the plebs. It is concluded. Take the man-child to the ravaged chambers at once. Very well, my liege. Fulfill your charge well, Garon. And we'll meet again. The fate of Andergast lies in your hands. I will not disappoint you, my king. You have brought me some serious trouble already, young man. I hope you won't cause us any more bad luck. I'll do my best. The crows have been at it in here since yesterday. You can see for yourself what damage they've done. In just a few days, the Queen of Nostria will arrive. These are the only appropriate chambers for a guest of that importance. This must have been a nice room once. Spare your cheeky comments. You'd better start catching those crows. And I said, catch, not kill. King Aphidan's wife doesn't want any bad omens, you hear? Got it. I'll think of something. And don't let your fingers get sticky.
Alright, this feels like it's going to be extremely, excruciatingly hard. But I guess we're trying. It isn't going to work. I doubt that me playing... I haven't played him. I'm supposed... All right, let's try with more brain power and less guessing. And now all we need is the bait. A bird catcher needs two, a proper trap. Stay away from our prize, motherfuckers. Freeze, freeze. I'll tackle you. I'll tackle you. Good. What was that? Nothing. Everything's fine. I'm just tackling birds. Not too much. Jolly old mate. Soft. It's softer than your own bed. Well, damn, nigga. You one badass ghetto motherfucker. How did this fall anyway? No wonder the stag fell down. Oh, well, let's try and fix that up then. The king must have plenty of. Oh, you! I'd Lazy as a bum. <sighs> this is bound to batter someone to death, loose. I feel like I'll get blamed for everything in the end. What a massive fire! This could be easy, if only the bird. Six are not a bad place to put, but what use is it to me right here? Am I being repetitive or right? Huh? Well, that answers our question. I'm being repetitive. Now that I think about it, for bait, I can actually use the other crow. They tried helping it last time and made it work again. You... You spell doom. Just as I thought. What? Where am I? The execution. The seer. Silence! No bad omens. And to think I put in a good word to the king for you. What happened? I know what will happen. You'll catch those crows by the hour of six this evening. Or you'll be put in the pillory. The crows. Right. I don't suppose this was successful. The sand in your hourglass is wasting away. Bird catcher, it will run out at the hour of six this evening. This dream, it. Uh, <laughs> pull yourself together, Geron, and start to deal with those crows already. The king trusts me. I can't let him down. Perhaps Gwynling found something that can help me while he was dissecting the bird. Geron, you turned up at the right time. He sure seems to have gone through a mood change. That can't be good. You'll have to catch a fairy for me, as quickly as possible. A fairy? What's gotten into you? We don't have much time. Help me. What do you need a fairy for? Is she supposed to drive away the crows for you? I may be wrong, but perhaps the seer is back. Again with this horror story. You're not making any sense. You'd better help me expel the crows from the royal guest chambers. Later. For now, just do what I tell you. How do you know so much about the seer? It was I who led all those heroes to him. To his hideout in the Stone Oak Forest. You were part of the hero's quest? Hunters and scouts. We caught him. And then we burnt him. And now a knight and a magician are dead. Just... Trust me, and all will be fine. Why haven't you told me all this before? Now is not the time. Well, obviously, it never was the time. 
What's a fairy got to do with the seer? Not a fairy. The fairy. You have to catch her before someone else does. What does the seer want with the fairy? Only she can unleash the power of the magic harp. No man, not even the seer, can play it without dying by the gods. If he's back, everything will start all over. You aren't making any sense to me, old man. What powers does the harp hold? Nobody knows. But it is said that when the harp sounds, Andergast will perish. That's why you have to catch the fairy. She is the key. What did the seer want with the harp? He longed for her, because she was the gateway to his power. Or that's what he thought, anyway. Is this the one in the drawing? This is what she might look like. Who can be sure? Tell me more about that magic harp. I don't know. It is said to be from the realm of the fairies. How could the seer possibly be back? He's dead, isn't he? We all watched him die. But now not only the crows have returned. But the magpies too? Murders, Geron. Where none should occur. First Knight Olderich, now Magister Dorata. They were the ones who put the seer at the stake. Who knows what else will happen? How did you catch that crow over there? A certain attractant, but it needs water that's been touched by fairy magic. So I would have to go where the fairy lives anyway. That's right. Hmm. If I catch the fairy, will you help me with the king's crows? Promise. But would you please hurry now? You don't have to tell me that. And with this fairy water, I'll be able to catch my crows? Yes. All the other ingredients are easy to find. Splendid! The king will be amazed. All right. How- The fairy lives in a hidden place in the Stone Oak Forest, near an old but sealed fairy portal. Look about two midden miles north of the Old Finger, where the Oneberries grow. If you hear the great waterfall, you're in the right place. Oh, I'll find that place all right. Try to lure the fairy out of her hollow by playing your flute. She's nosy, but also very shy. And then I'll catch her with a cage. Fairies can be deceiving. Don't let her put a spell on you. Not to worry. If she's got wings, I'll catch her. I'm on my way now. You mustn't fail. Alright, thanks for the support guys. I'll get the video here. And if you like what you saw, what you heard, so please click the subscribe button. You won't regret it. This was Archid Gaming. Archid out.